Okay, this is Daniel Holleran with Amet Ministries. Amet is the Hebrew word for truth. Part 2 of the January 26, 2014 update on the upcoming San Francisco earthquake and tsunami and of course Israel's war with Iran and other players as well. Okay, so I last we're going to get into Israel first and then I'll get into San Francisco. Okay, I recapped uh, some things about Israel that I mentioned in a, in a prior sermon and teaching, okay? So now I'm going to go over some some scriptures that um, that prove that uh, trees denote people in the Bible, okay? Let's go into some New Testament ones. Um, and as I get this technical thing down, I'll be able to look straight ahead like other people. Right now, i got to look straight down on the paper. Revelation chapter 11, verses 3 and 4. And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. Okay, this is the King James Bible. These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. Many people believe that's Moses and Elijah. Some people believe it's possibly Enoch. Okay, in other words, they're uh, symbolized as trees. Matthew uh, chapter 3 verses 9 and 10 and think not to say within yourselves we have Abraham to our father for I say unto you that God is able of these stone able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire he's speaking of people okay who don't bring forth fruit unto salvation okay Mark 8, 23 and 24. This is after Jesus had healed a man. Okay, And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the town. And when he had spit on his eyes and put his hands upon him, he asked if he saw aught. And he looked up and said, I see men as trees walking. Okay, and then in Ezekiel 31, it talks about uh, equating Pharaoh, king of Egypt, with a tree. In verse 10, Therefore thus saith the Lord God, because thou hast lifted up thy, thyself in height, and he hath shot up his top among the thick bows, and his heart is lifted up, lifted up in his height. Okay, very famous verse, Isaiah 61, 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. Let's go to Daniel chapter 4. Okay, and this concerns Nebuchadnezzar. You know, Nebuchadnezzar had the dream, and uh, God gave uh, Daniel the interpretation. So let's go to verse 10 in uh, Daniel chapter 4. And this is Daniel. Thus were the visions of mine head, head in my bed. I saw, and behold, a tree in the midst of the earth, and the height thereof was great. The tree grew and was strong, and the height thereof reached unto heaven, and the sight thereof to the end of all the earth. The leaves therefore were fair, and the fruit thereof, thereof much, and it was in the and in it was meat for all. The beasts of the field had shadow under it, and the fowls of the heaven dwelt in the boughs thereof, and all flesh was fed of it. I saw in the visions of mine head upon my bed. And behold, a watcher and an holy one came down from heaven. He cried aloud and said thus, Hew down the tree and cut off his, his branches, shake off his leaves and scatter his fruit, let the beast get away from under it and the fowls from his branches. Okay, and then it goes on to verse 16. Let his heart be changed from man's, and let a beast's heart be given unto him, and let seven times pass over him. And of course, um, this has to do with Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
First Chronicles 16, Then shall the trees of the wood sing out at the presence of the Lord, because he cometh to judge the earth. Okay, and I know classically these verses may have different meanings, but, uh, you know, God can do this with his word, okay? Um, verse 34, 1 Chronicles chapter 16, O give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. And say ye, save us, O God of our salvation. And that's what Yeshua means. And gather us together and deliver us from the heathen, that we may give thanks to, his, to thy holy name and glory in thy praise. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel forever and ever. And all the people said, Amen, and praise the Lord. Let's go to Isaiah 10. Um, verse 16, Therefore shall the Lord, the Lord of hosts, send among his fat ones leanness, and under his glory he shall kindle a burning like the burning of a fire. And the light of Israel shall be for a fire, and his holy one for a flame, and it shall burn and devour his thorns and his briars in one day. Okay? Judgment, chastening coming to Israel. And shall consume the glory of his forest. Okay, we're going to remember that. And of his fruitful field, both soul and body, and they shall be as when a standard bearer fainteth, an ensign. And Ariel Sharon was a general. Okay. And the rest of the trees of his forest shall be few, that a child may write them. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah 37, 24. By thy servants hast thou reproached the Lord, and hast said, By the multitude of my chariots am I come up to the height of the mountains, to the sides of Lebanon, and I will cut down the tall cedars thereof, people, and the choice fir trees thereof, and I will enter into the height of his border, and the forest of his Carmel. Okay? And it goes on to say, For I will defend this city to save it for mine own sake. This is the Lord and for my servant David's sake. In uh, Isaiah 55, 12, For ye shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Okay. And then I'm going to read a couple more verses, and I'll explain what this all means. This was this is what's on the the near horizon, okay? The Lord had me in Hosea Hosea, Hosea chapter eight. Set the trumpet to thy lip, to thy mouth rather. He shall come as an eagle against the house of the Lord, because they have transgressed my covenant and trespassed against my law. God has to deal with Israel, his firstborn. Israel shall cry unto me, My God, we know thee. Israel has cast off the thing that is good, the enemy shall pursue him. Amos 1 2, and he said, The Lord will roar from Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the habitations of the shepherds shall mourn, and the top of Carmel shall wither. Ezekiel 15 6, therefore, thus saith the Lord God, as the vine tree among the trees of the forest, which I have given to the fire for fuel, so will I give the inhabitants of, Jer of Jerusalem. And lastly, Ezekiel 17, 24. And all the trees of the field shall know that I, the Lord, have brought down the high tree, have exalted the low tree, have dried up the green tree, and have made the dry tree to flourish. I, the Lord, have spoken and have done it. So I've been tying in the analogy that proves that people in the Bible are also known as trees. We went into four the forest, specifically the forest of Carmel. Okay, and now I'm going to explain how this all ties in with Ariel Sharon. This has been Daniel Holleran with Amet Ministries. This has been a uh, January 26th update on the coming tsunami and uh, earthquake coming to San Francisco and also the, the war coming to Israel. This has been part two.